Hello and welcome back to the Academy of the Magical Art. I am Frater Ophiel and today we are going to be doing a continuation of a video that was put out recently called Sigil Magic Keys to the Unconscious. From that video I received a little bit of feedback asking about the type of sigil magic discussed in that particular video and then referencing the process of creating a sigil, charging it, and locking it away. I replied to this question privately and touched on it briefly in the little Q&A video that was done to about two weeks ago, but today I want to elaborate on that particular subject a little bit more by discussing the actual process of creating a sigil, charging a sigil, and then what to do with it after. Sigil magic is a very, very easy form of magic, very simple to perform and very effective. It is effective because it operates off of taking a conscious thought, a statement of intent or desire from the conscious left brain and transferring it to the creative right brain to be gestated and prepared for manifestation. Its efficacy is on such a level that it has been used repetitively through various forms of magic. So how do we do this? Well, it all starts with a thought. It all starts with a statement. Forming a clear, concise idea of what you want to manifest, of what you want to create in your physical reality. Taking a pen and piece of paper and writing it down. Again, this is what's referred to as your statement of intent or statement of desire. That is our logical left brain communicating, this is what I want. So to take that and transfer it to your right brain, the first step would be to eliminate all of the vowels and all of the repeating letters. Again, you want to eliminate all of the vowels and all of the repeating letters simply just by crossing them out. And then take what's left and write it down on a line below. This should be a jumbled something of a bunch of consonants written on a line at this point. From there, we want to take this a step further and change this line of jumbled letters into a symbol. Symbols being keys to the unconscious. A sigil in this aspect is a thought, again, formed into one of these keys to communicate to the unconscious. So what I personally like to do is I, I stack these letters on top of each other. So if we were to take a statement of intent, such as begin working in a successful productive career in which I continually bless those around me and break it down, eliminating all vowels and duplicate letters or consonants, you would then have something that looks like this. Then taking it a step further, we begin to stack each one of these letters on top of each other until it forms a cohesive symbol or a sigil. Some would say from that point we can then take it a step further and even change it a bit more allowing it to take on more of a symmetrical symbolic form than just a bunch of letters stacked on top of each other but if it works for you either way that's what you should run with. After taking your statement of desire and changing it into this symbol, we then want to charge that symbol and transfer it from its conscious symbolic state into a place which it rests within our subconscious mind or our right brain. There are many ways in which this can be done. Some would say a death posture would be appropriate. If you would like, you can research a little bit more on those in particular. Other people will meditate upon the symbol using a one-point meditation, clearing all thought, conscious thought, from the mind and just focusing on that symbol. Some people will place a symbol in front of them while doing that type of meditation and then close their eyes, hold their breath until they can't take it anymore. And when you finally have to grasp for air, opening your eyes so that when you take that deep breath in, you, with it, take in the energy and the vibration of that symbol. That particular method happens to be one of my personal favorites. Others will use sex or masturbation, focusing on that symbol during that particular act, and then at the point of climax, again, focusing further, staring at the symbol and allowing it to soak into the subconscious mind. There are other methods of charging a sigil. These are just to name a few. Again, I encourage doing some of your own research, coming to some of your own conclusions, seeing what fits and resonates with you personally. Past that point, in this particular case, I like to take whatever piece of paper or parchment that the sigil is written on and fold it towards me three times if I am 
trying to attract something or away from me three times, if I'm trying to repel something and then placing it in a box that I have specifically dedicated to hold my sigils, this allows me to forget what that symbol looks like consciously, causing the manifestation that's taking place in the subconscious mind to be that much more effective. Not thinking about it, forgetting about it, and just locking it away, in this case, I find is the most effective way to go. I find sigils to be an effective way of manifesting my desires, manifesting what I am trying to achieve. Again, it's a very simple, easy to do form of manifestation, form of magic. I want to thank you for joining with me again today at the Academy of the Magical Art. And until next time, blessed be.